Congratulations, Princess, uh, for the success of the election. Thank you. Now, uh, I mean, in, the, in an industry largely dominated by men, and um, considering the fact that you won um, the highest votes casted in that election, what does this mean to you? Well, first of all, I will give thanks to God who made it possible. And uh, I will also thank the men and the women who came out in mass to vote for me. And uh, it shows that they believe in me and my competence. That is why they come out to vote to vote for me. And um, for other women in the maritime system, they should stand up and uh, do the same since if I can do it. Thank you. Now there are lots of expectations um, going into this council, I mean, you're a returning member, mm. uh, you're then the last one. Now, in terms of, I mean, one of the mandates is to train and retrain freight forwarders. Uh, looking at that line, what are you going to be doing differently this time? I will ensure that freight forwarders are being properly trained. Although, a plat some platforms has been, have been already been placed for them, like Nagav Academy. And the CRFFN also had its own platform, which they uh, collaborated with um, Unilag and uh, Lasso, yeah, yeah, to train the freight forwarders. You can see that most agencies, like shipping companies, um, shippers council. Many of them, they've gone, up, they've gone electronically and you can't just go there without being trained. Yes. So it's good that we we'll, will ensure that first orders are being trained. Right. Now we've noticed that uh, Nagaf has more um, seats in this government council. Uh, I mean, and Araka has five and of course some independent candidates. Collaboration would want to seem like a thing of a uh, problem. How, or do you think, do you think it's possible, or how do you think Nagaf can really bring everybody in one page so that you can achieve uh, optimal success? My brilliant success shows that I have cooperation with everybody. And uh, Nagaf, I'm a product of Nagaf. And the cooperation, and all inclusiveness is Nagaf uh, watchword. So, of course, they will collaborate together with other members in the council. That is not, I don't see it as, an, as, uh, as any issue. There won't be a problem. They will work together with them to move the council forward. Now, finally, let's look at the fact that um, as a lady, you came out top in that election. And a lot of women, are, are, most times I've seen it as a largely dominated men industry. You know, and all of that. Um, how would you encourage women in the next election to you know, come and contest? Because really, positions are not given. It's been taken. You have taken yours. Uh, we need others to come out and take some. What's your message to them? Uh, my message to them is that women should be hardworking. They should they should try to change, to raise their shoulder high in any environment to make sure there's a, a very good change. Okay. And they also, they should come out from their hiding place, okay. if I can achieve it. Okay. I think every other person can achieve it. Yeah. So uh, it's not by my power, Sha. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I look at it as act of God. Is by God uh, providence. Yeah. It's not. I can't just brag on it, saying that I'm the one that did it. But I believe they should be strong. I'm a fearless person, 
I, I believe that God created man and woman equally. Okay. So I see them as the same thing. She understand they should come out and uh, do whatever they, they can do. If personally I can achieve that, I mean, they can equally yeah. achieve it. I mean, I'm trying to see what a man can do. A woman, a woman can do it also. <laughs> not <laughs> not really better, but also. Okay, at least yeah. there's also not better. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Mrs. Chase. We look forward to um, the inauguration fully, and uh, we just can't wait to see the council hit the ground running because there are lots of issues that you need to attend to. And um, I hope that uh, Freight Forwarders, uh, you guys will be Freight Forwarders proud. By the grace of God.